Hello everybody and welcome to the top 10 free to play games on Steam. I thought we would kick it off with an honorable mention. This honorable mention is a game called Heroes and Generals. Now Heroes and Generals is a very popular free to play uh, first person shooter game World War 2 and it's quite fun. You rank up and you become... Heroes and Generals has very wide open maps. Uh, maybe not as big as Battlefield 4, but there are some vehicles you'll need to get around, such as cars and skirmishes like this one, and also bicycles. Also, in big wars, uh, there are also vehicles such as tanks and airplanes, if you have ranked up enough to fly one. There are also some advanced weapons, such as the Panzerfaust, which I'm currently using here. The Panzerfaust is basically a German rocket launcher that is very useful against enemy vehicles, as shown here. You'll watch, very realistic explosions, and the car is gone. That is one of the things you can do in Heroes and Generals. Use advanced rocket launchers. Much fun. Also, Heroes and Generals is quite a hard game, and you have to be paying a lot of attention to where you are. Also, if it can be an annoyance if the vehicles are taken. You have to you do have you may have to walk quite a long way, so you want to make sure you get a vehicle of some sort. So Heroes and Generals is not for people who like to rampage around and destroy everything in sight. It's quite hard and you have to make sure you're in the right position if you want to be fighting a battle. Example there, I used ten rounds and didn't hit anything. Also you have to be strategic and know where the right places are to stand and the wrong places such as there. Someone just had to toss in a grenade and both me and my teammate were done. This is some gameplay of the bicycle mechanics which are interesting and quite useful if you're trying to get around the map. That is Heroes and Generals. Number five is a game I've been playing quite a bit recently. It's called Hawken. Hawken is a game where you take control of mechs. It reminds me a bit of Pacific Rim actually and you take control of mechs and you battle other players in their mechs. It's a bit like Titanfall, except you can't get out of your mech, and uh, it's a bit more advanced in terms of your mech. Alright guys, so you'll see in this gameplay that I hopped into a lobby of free of uh, free for all with only one other player in the match, so we'll see how it goes. Um, so here, you'll notice you'll see me using some of the boosters back there, and you'll see I I saw the other mech and I didn't I thought I I thought that that mech couldn't shoot me. That wasn't the case though. So we fought it out and just a short little battle. I used my rockets and my machine guns and uh, it was quite a fun battle to watch. All right guys, so number 4 is a game that has sort of been dying out recently. This game is Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Phantoms and the problem with this game is that the servers um, I've stopped hosting a lot of people, and almost no one's playing it anymore. It took me five minutes of looking for matches in the most populated match zone, and I couldn't find a match. But in this, you play as three different classes. You can play as, as seen here, you can play as sort of an assault class, rifleman, a scout, which is a sniper and uses personal defense weapons, or, um, support. Now, as you guys can see, obviously I don't have gameplay for you guys, which is because I couldn't find a match and actually get you some gameplay, so sorry about that, guys. Too bad. Number three is a game with one of the bigger fan bases on this list. It's got 25 million players at last count. This is a game called Warface. It's sort of a wannabe Call of Duty, but not really. It's a bit different. Um, but basically, you have the classes of Sniper, Engineer, assault and medic and you battle it out in a bunch of different game modes there's no shortage of people to play against there's also clan battles um but let's take a look at some gameplay of this and uh this wasn't my best best match but hey we're gonna kick this off with some gameplay from one of my friends and uh this wasn't one of my best matches but i was playing as a sniper and as you can see i got counter sniped there um or my friend did sorry he got counter sniped and so we'll watch as I sort of just peruse the streets, and um, this was a team deathmatch mode, and uh, you'll see this I this uh, pistol my friend just got recently, 
but yeah, you'll see me just running around and uh, trying to get people uh, to die. So now I think my friend pulls out a grenade. Yes, he does, and throws it into that alley in the hope someone will step into it, which they do. And uh, my friend gets hit by a grenade shortly after. Uh, it is quite tactical, and not all your enemies are marked on the map. As you can see, my friend got ambushed there, but still picks up an assist. So it's, it's quite a difficult game, but it's free to play and very fun, and you can get really good at it without having to pay any real money, which is a good thing, unlike some other pay-to-wins. All right, so I'm willing to bet that every one of you, or most every one of you, knows this game. It's Planet Side 2. Planet Side 2 is a game with massive open worlds, open combat, and it's very interesting. So you create, you can choose from one of three factions, each with different interests, and it's quite fun. There's different planets to battle on, different attachments by the hundreds, um, and you don't have to pay to win either. It's pretty cool. So let's check a look, take a look at one of my not-so-best matches. All right, so I'm going to kick things off here with the combat medic class, and I'm going to go in with some of my fellow fellow teammates, and we're going to get this guy by the door. I didn't actually get him, but I uh, attempted to. So as you can see, I'm equipped with an assault rifle and a scope that I bought for some of the money I earned from battles. And um, so we're going to go into this building, and as you can see, we're absolutely getting destroyed. One of my teammates dies, and so now I can see there's someone shooting, but I just go ahead and I just rush that. That was really a stupid idea, but it turned out it was actually a turret, which I was able to kill rather easily. And then, so yeah, I destroyed the turret, and then we moved through the building. I used my special ability to finish healing myself, and then we moved out. Yeah, Planet Side 2 can be a bit slow, but if you use the instant action, you can get right into the action like I did. So, my advice to you, use instant action because then you can actually do stuff. Um, but if you decide not to, that's okay too. Okay, so I'm also willing to bet that 99% of you know this game, it's Team Fortress 2. Team Fortress 2 is a wacky game. It's an FPS game. It's so crazy. There's nine different classes, all with their unique personality that you can use, and thousands, hundred, maybe even hundreds of thousands of unique items. And it's such a huge community, so much mods. I mean, what other game can you dress yourself up as an alien from the 1979 movie? What other game? Tell me, please. I'd love to know. Okay, guys, so let's get right into the gameplay. I didn't record too much because I had a storm last night where I live, and um, I got completely lagged out. As you can see, I'm playing with the heavy class with its minigun, and um, I just went ahead and took out a scout there uh, from the other team. This is a uh, King of the Hill match. But, yeah, so my computer completely lagged out. I was surprised I even got the footage, um, but the Internet connections are a little shaky. So... It, that's sort of what happened, but, and then I ended up dying anyway, but, so, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed that a little bit, and you learned something from that. If you didn't enjoy the gameplay, um, I tried to do this relatively quickly. Go ahead and download some of that, those games to experience them for yourself. Peace. I'm out.